The Google Pixel 7 Pro has an ability so extraordinary that I'm dedicating this entire video to it. Night photography. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your night sky photography using only my Pixel 7 Pro. But first, in order to truly see the Pixel's capabilities, you have to go to a dark place. That's the first tip. Get out of the city, get away from lights, and go somewhere where you can actually see the stars. For that, I recently traveled to dark sky locations in New Mexico and California to capture images of the Milky Way and night sky. This was probably the best shot of the Milky Way I captured. Notice how vibrant the core appears. If you want to capture images like this with your Pixel, there's a few things you'll have to do first. One, get familiar with Milky Way basics. The Milky Way is not visible all the time. You need to plan it based on the season and consider the period of the month that it is visible. And don't forget about the weather. June to September are the best months. Those are the months when the main core of the Milky Way is visible. And within those months, you can only see the Milky Way core on moonless nights. Only during that time can we capture the details of the Milky Way core. But that doesn't mean you can't get photos in the wintertime. While there is no Milky Way visible in the winter, you can still capture images of the stars and the constellations. Here's some images taken in the month of November, for example. I've been taking photos for quite a long time, especially night photography, and I can tell you it's never really been this easy to take night photos, especially of the Milky Way. The phone seems to do all the work for you, but there are a couple things you need to remember before you take a photo. Because we're taking night photos, it requires a long exposure. The Pixel takes a four minute exposure. Now, what it does is it's taking a set of photos over those course of four minutes and it's processing the end result. That's what we see. But by all means, it is a long exposure. There's a couple things that are important here. You need a tripod. You need somewhere stable, something very stable to put the phone on because you're going to be taking a long exposure. The phone does not know that you're in a long exposure mode until you are stable enough to do that. So how do you do that? How does the phone know it's going into astro mode? Pretty simple. Open up your camera, slide over to night sight. When you go to night sight, you see that little moon icon right there? That little moon icon turns into those stars, those, those little star icons. That is telling you that it's in astrophotography mode and that will not activate until the phone is in a stable position. The one thing that you can do that's really awesome on this phone is make sure you can uh, click on the top there to see the other options that you have. What that does is it activates your white balance, your, your shadows and your contrasts. Uh, I, in night photography, prefer to have a more red tone to the image because night photos tend to slant everything to the blue side. With the Pixel, this is a very professional element in photography that you have. You can move your white balance to the red side there so that your photos don't come out so unnaturally blue. Now, once you have that stable base, let's just take a night photo. And that's pretty simple. Just click on the shutter and let the phone do its magic. When you take your Milky Way pictures, the one thing you want to do is make sure that the composition is just right. And because it's dark, sometimes it takes taking a few photos before you get that composition. Uh, what I'm seeing in this image here is uh, I, I'm seeing a little bit too much ground. I want some more stars. So I'm basically going to aim my camera a little higher and try to get more stars in this. And then I'm going to move the frame over just a bit and up because I want that Milky Way to just go from left to right, right in the frame. Uh, composition's really important. Remember the rule of thirds, and uh, let's see what happens on this second take. Okay, so the photo just finished processing. I am completely surprised about one thing here. Uh, there was three airplanes that went through this frame in those four minutes that this picture was being taken. And the Pixel knew that those were airplanes and not stars, and it removed them. As you can see here, there are no airplanes in this shot. It's, it's pretty incredible. I was not expecting that. Uh, the uh, shifting of the white balance to the red side there, uh, like we did before, seems to have helped the photo look more natural. We don't have that crazy blue look anymore, uh, which you get with a lot of cameras. But overall, this is pretty impressive. And removing the airplanes without even me asking it to do, 
is it's pretty amazing. I hope these tips helped you out. The Pixel is one fantastic phone. The night abilities of it are incredible. As a content creator, I am nothing but pleased with the results that I'm getting and the storytelling abilities that you have by being able to photograph in low light are something that you can really utilize as a creator.